Hello and welcome to this introduction to QGIS. What this will do in this tutorial is it will show you how to download QGIS, add a shapefile, and then connect that to an MSSQL or um, a SQL Server database. This could be like a ProVal um, property tax type camera type database or um, you know Arcus DE connected to that as well. So the first thing that we're going to do here is go to Google and type in QGIS download which we did right here. You'll want to click on the first link to download QGIS. There'll be several different installers. Um, what we'll want to do is we'll want to do um, for new users here and the latest release and at the time of this recording is 2.14 so we'll just do the 32 I've already downloaded it and installed it on this computer so once it's downloaded and installed you'll see a bunch of um, it'll it'll be located here um, it'll also be located probably on your desktop so you'll probably see um, and you can install multiple instances so I'm, I'm just looking at Lion and I've got 2.12 installed which we're going to use for this tutorial um, so it has with grass. Um, this is the browser, so you can kind of look at this like Arc Catalog, and then this would be like um, Arc Desktop if you're you know, used to Esri products. Um, the next thing you'd want to do is, um, and then you've, you've got a bunch of other stuff here. The designer, you're not going to worry about. Saga, you're not going to worry about. And then setup for grass, you're not going to worry about. So the desktop, um, once you install it, just click on the desktop, and you will see. Um, You'll see something that looks like this. It might be a little bit different. You might have some stuff over here. I've kind of dummied it down just for um, making it like a reader type map. So the next thing you'll want to do here is you'll want to go down to layer, add vector layer, and go to browse. <clears throat> and I'm just going to bring in a parcel layer, a really old parcel layer. So this is a um, just a parcel layer shape file. The next thing you'll want to do is go ahead and go up to um, add MSSQL. You might have to go, it might be on some of them, it might, might be add layer here and then it expands down. So add MSSQL layer. Um, so what I've done in here is I've created a, a connection essentially to our ARC SDE. Oops, I gotta look at what's going on here. So um, This is kind of what it would look like. Um, so outlaw, here's the host, tax GIS, outlaw, and then the database's name is tax GIS. Oh, if you get this error like this, how I'm getting this error like this, invalid object geometry columns, just click on also list tables with no. Hmm. If you see that error, make sure to go back in and edit and uncheck only look in geometry columns metadata table. So just hit OK here and then hit Connect. And this might take a couple of minutes. While it's doing this, I'm just going to pause this, this tutorial. So once it's done loading, it's still loading. But for this, we're just going to expand the DBO here. And you'll notice that there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, so this is where you'd want to do your relational join. Um, I was kind of looking for the parcels for this county, just so I could join up essentially a layer to a layer. But since I can't, they're in here. Um, but since I can't, I'm just going to just like randomly select one here. We'll just select Nez Perce and add it. And so what this essentially did um, is this just added that layer. So this is where you would then go once you have the, the shape file for your parcels in there. Um, you would want to, this is where you do your join. So like in Arc products or Esri products, you'd go here and join. Here you actually have to go down the properties <clears throat> and then go down here to your join section and then click your add. So We'll just say, and this isn't going to join because I don't have the same layer. You can cache it. Um, I would suggest not doing that because if, if your um, SQL Server database changes, it won't change the map. So just do that. Click Apply and click OK. Then what you'll be able to do is um, you'll have all that other information. So if you just go up here to Identify Features, you should be able just to identify. And all of this information with the join should be there. So what I do is I checked auto open form. So you get this. 
you should get a nice form that should open up here. Yeah, like this. So then what you'd want to do is once you got that saved, is you just go up here, file, save. And I would suggest saving this map and linking the data to a common drive. And then what you can do is you can actually go around to each computer, install QGIS, and then just point it to um, that that QGIS folder, which you can kind of think of that as like a dot document in Microsoft or a dot MXD in Esri products. Uh, so in order, you can actually make that so that 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 uh, that project opens up automatically. So if you go up here to settings, down the options. And then where it says project files, so on the general area up here where it says project files, where it says new, check specific, and then locate your specific um, .qgs file, and then just hit OK. And then you should be um, done. That should conclude this QGIS tutorial. Thanks.